What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my King's Fall Raid rewards for the past couple weeks on all three of my characters. So for the past few weeks, me and my team have been grinding some King's Fall Raid and we've been trying to get some higher level gear, higher light gear to prepare for some of the upcoming content in Destiny. Uh, mainly Trials of Osiris and King's Fall Raid Hard Mode and possibly the future mode coming out after hard mode that everyone is supposedly talking about or the rumored third mode for King's Fall. Um, so now that the light level is going to be increased to uh, 320, uh, we've been grinding trying to get some better stuff to prepare for Friday when the hard mode comes out. And it's going to be pretty exciting. Obviously we know a little bit of what to expect from our previous experiences in the hard mode raids with Volta Glass and uh, Crotazen, but uh, we still have no idea what to expect. They're probably going to change some mechanics on us and add some new stuff, and uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. Hopefully, we're able to tackle some of these new challenges in the next uh, hard mode of King's Fall. So, without further ado, let's get into my rewards for the past couple weeks on all my characters. So going into my first character on my Titan from a couple weeks ago, starting off at the Glyph checkpoint or the Totems, we end up getting two Moldering Shards, not very lucky there. I'm usually not very lucky on that checkpoint for some reason. My best reward was a 309 Ghost Shell, I believe, or maybe I think I got a 310 Fusion Rifle one time, but that's about it. I usually get Moldering Shards on that one. And then going into the next checkpoint on the War Priest, uh, we end up getting unlucky once again, and we get two more moldering shards. Nothing really special there once again. Going into the next checkpoint for Gogoroth, we end up getting our first piece of gear for the raid. And we get the War Newman's boots along with two moldering shards. And uh, I believe the boots came in at 302, but I have not gotten the boots until that point, so I did benefit in light level from that and then going into the next checkpoint for the dead singer sisters we end up getting the war newman's mark class item along with two moldering shards and unfortunately i did end up getting a 300 class item so i got a little bit unlucky there even though i did get the class item for the first time on that run uh for the titan so hopefully we get better drops going into hard mode maybe a 320 uh, class item in that and then finally at the oryx checkpoint we end up picking up our first exotic from this raid i believe and we get a soros regime at 310 which was pretty exciting i didn't have enough room for it i also got the chess piece which was 300 i believe and then i also got two primaries so that was quite a bit of rewards on that one i got the auto rifle 300 and the scout rifle at 308 i believe and then going into my next character on my hunter for that week, we got two Moldering Shards and a Kingslayer Shell at 307. Again, my highest one is 309. But uh, since Hard Mode is coming out, hopefully we get some 320 Ghost Shells going into uh, this next week. And then going into the next checkpoint on the War Priest for my hunter, we end up picking up couple moldering shards and a legendary engram which was kind of weird i don't think that was from the war priest himself that was just an engram that dropped from another enemy up there and it just happened to be next to my rewards so that was that was kind of weird i thought that was my actual reward on that one but going into my gogora checkpoint we end up picking up two moldering shards and that's it so that was kind of unlucky usually I do get something from Golgoroth, I don't know, that was one of the first times I didn't get anything from Golgoroth. And then going into the Dead Singer checkpoint with my Hunter, we end up getting the class item along with two Moldering Shards, we got the Dark Hollow Mantle, and my highest one is at 307 and the one I got was 303, so unfortunately it wasn't my highest one, but I can still use those to uh, infuse into my other class items that I want to use for like Iron Banner and stuff. So. That's still really good. And then going into the Oryx kill on my Hunter, we end up getting some more Moldering Shards. We got two Primaries and the Dark Hollow Chintin, which is the chess piece, I believe. So I got the Doom Scout Rifle, which came in at 303, I believe. I got a 310 
auto rifle and then the chest piece was like 303 I believe as well so not bad for that oryx run and then going into my last character for the week on my warlock we get two moldering shards and the Midas reckoning fusion rifle from the glyph checkpoint and my Midas reckoning came in at 310 so that was pretty good if I don't use it I can at least use that for infusion fuel for something to get it up higher and then for the war preach checkpoint we get the quillum's terminus uh, machine gun so that was pretty good I do have a 310 one already that I got on week one because I was really lucky on week one uh, so that one wasn't as good it was 305 I believe and then for Golgoroth we get more moldering shards and the chasm of yule chess piece however it did come in at 300 so that one was a little bit unlucky at least I did finally get it because I didn't have it up to that point uh, so at least I got a reward that's better than nothing uh, as I always say and then finally for the Dead Singer checkpoint, we end up getting another class item, I believe. So we got the Bond of the Wormlore and a Silence of Aran shotgun. And uh, my shotgun came in at 308, I believe. And the Bond came in at 309. So that was really good. I actually had a 300 Bond prior to that, so I had an upgrade on that one. Uh, so that was pretty good on that one. And then finally for the Oryx kill on my Warlock for the previous week, we end up getting a Truth Rocket Launcher and the Path of Zoa boots for my Warlock. Uh, so my Truth came in at 310, which was a really lucky. I like that a lot. And then I got some boots that came in at 307. So that was a little bit better than the one I had at 304. So that was an upgrade as well. So my Warlock was probably my best set of rewards for that week. And then going into my rewards for this past week, which is the second week of rewards for the video, we end up getting two Moldering Shards in the Glyph Checkpoint. As you can see, we got some emotes this time, so it was this past week. And then for the War Priest Checkpoint, I only got one Engram, which means more Moldering Shards as usual. So only Moldering Shards on this one as well. And then going into the Gogoroth Checkpoint for my Warlock, we finally get a piece of gear for this raid. And we end up getting the Path of Zoal boots for the Warlock. And my highest one that I was wearing was at 307 and the one I got was 308. So slightly better than the one I was wearing a little bit. Hoping for some uh, 320s though this Friday going into hard mode. And then finally for the Dead Singer Checkpoint. We end up getting nothing but shards once again. So pretty unlucky raid for me so far. All I got was the boots from Golgoroth. And uh, pretty much just shards the rest of the way. And then finally for the Oryx checkpoint on my Warlock. We end up getting an Antiquated Rune. And the Chasm of Yule chest piece as my extra reward. And uh, I was kind of disappointed because the Chasm of Yule came in at 300 once again. So I already had a 301, that is my highest one, and I didn't get an increase on that whatsoever. And I also got an antiquated rune, which I think they should take out of the loot pool for Oryx at least. I think they should take it out for at least the drops, because um, antiquated runes aren't that big of a deal anymore, since Quarter Oryx is not very prominent at the moment as it was in the beginning of Taking King. Uh, so I think they should take it out. At least they took it out of Nightfalls, I believe, with the latest update. And then going into my next character on my Titan, we end up getting more Moldering Shards in the first checkpoint. For the next one on War Priest, we end up getting the Rocket Launcher from the raid, Elium's Frenzy, at 307 attack power. And I'm not sure how good it is. That was actually the first time I gotten it. Uh, so if it's not the greatest, I might just use it as infusion fuel for now. And then on my Gogora checkpoint, we end up getting some more armor pieces. And we get the War Newman's Fist this time for my Titan. And it came in at 302. So that was not bad. At least I got another piece of gear that improved my light a little bit. And then going into the Dead Singer checkpoint on my Titan... We ended up getting lucky once again. I didn't get just shards and we got the War Newman's Mark, the class item for my Titan. And I actually ended up getting an improvement in my light level from this one. So I had a 300 one and I got a 306 Mark from that one. So I did improve my light a little bit and that was pretty good because your class item, your ghost shell and your boots are three things that you kind of got to get lucky on from the raid to improve your light. So that was really good for that. And then for the last checkpoint on Oryx, we end up getting 
a ghost shell at 300, which was unfortunate. And I also got the helmet, so that was pretty cool. That was the first raid helmet I got, and I was on my Titan. We got the War Newman's Crown, and it came in at 307. So that completed my set of raid gear for the Titan. So that was pretty cool. At least I got that complete. I got the full set for my Titan. I still am missing the helmets for both the Hunter and the Warlock, I believe. And then going into my last character of the week on my Hunter, we end up getting two Moldering Shards from the first checkpoint. On the second checkpoint with the War Priest, we got Unlucky once again, and we got two more Moldering Shards, nothing there. And then going into the Gogoroth checkpoint for my Hunter, we finally get our first piece of gear for this raid, and we end up getting the Gauntlets, the Dark Hollow Grasps, and it came in at 303, so I already had 307 Gauntlets, I believe, so that wasn't really that big of an improvement or an improvement at all. Maybe I can use it to infuse some other stuff later down the line. Uh, but at least I got some gear on that drop. And then heading into the Death Singer checkpoint on my Hunter, we end up picking up just two more Moldering Shards. So once again, nothing really besides the one armor piece I got from Golgoroth going into the final checkpoint with Oryx. And uh, finally on Oryx, we end up getting a little bit luckier this time. We end up getting the Zaoli's Bane and the Midas Reckoning. I got two items there. And uh, the Zaoli's Bane came in at 303, and my Midas Reckoning came in at 305. So at least I can use those to infuse stuff later down the line. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll have more reward videos coming in the future as I continue to play the raids, especially with hard mode coming out. So hopefully we can get uh, that done, and I can show you guys what I got from that. So that's about it. Thank you guys once again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.